Hello everyone. Welcome to Digital Communication Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to take up a set of numericals on quantization. Let me read out the first question here. Quantize the following sequence 1.2, minus 0 0.2, minus 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.89, 1.3 using a uniform quantizer in the range of minus 1.5 volt to plus 1.5 volt with four levels and write the quantized sequence. Right, as you can see it is a quantizer with four levels that means there are four representation or quantization levels. Let me start with the solution part here. We start by identifying the input amplitude range which is minus 1.5 volts to plus 1.5 volts. Therefore, the absolute amplitude of the given signal is given by it is 1.5 volt minus of minus 1.5 volt which is equal to 3 volt. This is the absolute amplitude of the given signal. So, let us start with the diagram for the quantizer. I am going to start with the x axis which represents the input amplitude levels. Let us now mark the input amplitude range. It starts from minus 1.5. So, I will start with that. And the upper limit is plus 1.5. So, this would be plus 1.5. The number of quantization levels are 4. So, we have to now divide this range into 4 intervals. So, I will mark out 0 first. Between 0 and 1.5, we will have 2 intervals and this decision level is equal to 0.75. Very similarly, we will have 2 more intervals before 0. So, this point here will be minus 0.75. These are called as decision levels, please note. Let us now mark the quantization levels. As per the generic quantization theorem, a quantization level or a representation level is simply the midpoint between any two decision levels. So, if I consider this range that is between plus 0.75 and plus 1.5, the midpoint between these two values will be the representation level. Let me now mark these points using discontinuous lines. Okay, so this value is equal to 1.125, which is the midpoint between 0 0.75 and plus 1.5. In a very similar fashion, the next one would be 0 0.375. This would be minus 0 0.375. And lastly, we have minus 1.125. These are the representation levels. Representation levels are also called as quantization levels. Now, as per the quantization process, any input signal amplitude that falls between any two decision levels will have the corresponding representation level. This is the idea behind quantization. Let me now take the input sequence that is given in the numerical. Okay, so these are the input sample amplitudes. We have to now convert them into the quantized amplitudes. Let me start with 1.2. 1.2 falls within the range of plus 0 0.75 and plus 1.5. Therefore, its quantized value would be the corresponding representation level which is 1.125. So, let me start the quantized sequence here. As I said, 1.2 becomes 1.125. Next, we have minus 0 0.2. Go to the x-axis here and identify where minus 0 0.2 falls. It falls within the decision levels minus 0 0.75 and 0 and the corresponding representation level is minus 0 0.375. Move on to the next amplitude minus 0 
which also falls in the interval of minus 0 0.75 and 0. So, its representation level would be once again minus 0 0.375. Then we have 0 0.4. 0 0.4 falls between 0 and plus 0 0.75. So, its representation level would be 0 0.375. Then we have 0 0.89, 89 falls in the interval 0 0.75 to 1.5. So, its representation level would be 1.125. And lastly, we have the last sample amplitude 1.3 and 1.3 once again falls in the same range that is 0 0.75 to plus 1.5 and therefore, its representation level would be 1.125. This is the answer for the numerical. So, we have now found the quantized sequence for the given input amplitude sequence. Right, that is about the first numerical. Let me now move on to the second numerical in this video. I will read it out. A signal x of t has its amplitude ranging from minus 3 volt to plus 3 volt. Find the output of the quantizer for the input amplitude values 0.7 minus 1.3, minus 2.3, plus 1.7, minus 0 0.1 volts. Assume the step size of 1 volt. Right. So, let us start with the solution now. I am going to once again start with the input amplitude range. It is given as minus 3 volt to plus 3 volt. Therefore, the absolute amplitude is, it is 3 volt minus of minus 3 volt equal to 6 volt. Further, we are also given the value of the step size which is actually delta and this is equal to 1 volt. Okay. With that, we can now start the diagram for the quantizer. I will start with the x axis which is the input amplitude axis. This is in terms of volts. I will start with the lower range of the amplitude which is minus 3. Then I will draw the plus 3 value here. Somewhere in between is 0. You can see we are very clearly told the step size is 1 volt. So, we have to now divide this amplitude range based upon the delta value of 1 volt. Let me do that. Right. So, as we already know, these are called as decision levels. And now we have to find the representation levels. As I previously said, the representation level is equal to the midpoint of any two decision levels. So, if I take the interval plus 2 to plus 3, the representation level would be 2 plus 3 divided by 2, which would be simply 2.5. Let me now mark the lines to represent the quantization levels. Okay. Now, I will write down the representation values. So, between 2 and 3, it is 2.5. Between 1 and 2, it is 1.5. Between 0 and 1, it is 0 0.5. Between minus 1 and 0, it is minus 0 0.5. Then we have minus 1.5 and minus 2.5. These are our quantization or representation levels. Okay. Now, we can find the quantized sequence for the input amplitude values given. Let me rewrite the input amplitude values. Okay. Therefore, the quantized sequence would be Let me start with 0.7 here, the first sample amplitude. Fetch 0.7 on the x axis, it falls within the amplitude range of 0 to 1, and the representation level for that particular range is 0 0.5. Then you go to minus 1.3, minus 1.3 falls in between minus 2 and minus 1, and therefore its representation level is minus 1.5. Then we have minus 2.3. It falls between minus 3 and minus 2. Therefore, its representation level is minus 2.5. Then we have 
1.7 falls between 1 and 2. So, its representation level is 1.5. And lastly, I have minus 0 0.1 and minus 0 0.1 falls between minus 1 and 0. Therefore, this would be minus 0 0.5. Right, this is the answer for this second numerical. I will take up the last numerical in this video. Let me read it out. A signal X of T has its amplitude ranging from minus 2 volt to plus 2 volt. Find the output of the quantizer for input amplitude values 0 0.25, minus 1.73, minus 0 0.57, plus 0 0.53 plus 1.77 minus 0 0.9 plus 1.99. Assume a 3-bit quantizer. Okay, let us start with the solution. Starting once again with the input amplitude range. It is given as minus 2 volt to plus 2 volt. Therefore, the absolute amplitude of X of T is it is 2 volt minus of minus 2 volt which is equal to 4 volt. Now for a change we are told the quantizer is of 3 bits. So let me write that down. Therefore the number of quantization levels will be 2 power 3 which is equal to 8 levels. With that, let us start with drawing the quantizer diagram. I will start with the x axis now, which is the input voltage axis. Let us identify the range of input amplitude. It starts with minus 2 and ends at plus 2. Please note, we found out there are 8 amplitude levels. So, I have to now create 8 intervals. So, let me start with 0 here. Between 0 and plus 2, we must have 4 intervals. So, I will mark 1, that is 2 intervals. I will divide each interval here to create 4 intervals. I will do the same for the negative axis, that is between 0 and minus 2. I have to now find the representation levels. As we know, a representation level is simply the midpoint between any two decision levels. So, let me find out the representation level for each interval here. Okay, the values of these representation levels will be obtained by adding the two decision levels where it falls and dividing it by 2. So, the first one here, the rightmost one, it is 2 plus 1.5 divided by 2. So, it would be 1.75. Then we have 1 plus 1.5 divided by 2. It is 1.25. In a very similar fashion, you can find the rest of the representation levels. Okay. So, these are the quantization levels and the x-axis levels are called as decision levels. Let me rewrite the input sequence given. Right? So, I will find the quantized sequence as, let us start with the first input amplitude which is 0 0.25. 0 0.25 falls between 0 and 0 0.5 and its representation level is 0 0.25 itself. So, the first quantized sequence value is 0 0.25. Let us now move on to the second amplitude, minus 1.73. Minus 1.73 falls between minus 2 and minus 1.5. Therefore, its representation level would be minus 1.75. Then we have minus 0 0.57. This falls in the range of minus 0 0.5 to minus 1. So, the representation level for this is minus 0 0.75. The fourth sample amplitude is plus 0 0.53. It falls within plus 0.5 and plus 1. Therefore, its representation level is 0 0.75. Next, we have plus 1.77. It falls within 1.5 and 2. So, it will have the representation level of 1.75. Then, we have minus 0 0.9. It falls within minus 1 and minus 0 0.5. Therefore, its representation level would be minus 0 0.75. 
and lastly we have 1.99 which falls within the range of 1.5 to 2 so its representation level would be 1.75 this is the answer for this last part of the numerical right with that we have now come to the end of this video if you like this video kindly like and share this video and subscribe to my channel for more information on digital communication. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.